Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am going to be giving you guys a quick tour of the nursery. So I did a quick spin real quick, but really quick, I just want you guys to know that. <laughs> I think I've done quite a bit of little nursery tours, but nothing really major changes in here. When I do this is basically to show you where the babies are, where they place that right now, what I'm working on. I am constantly trying to organize stuff, but at the same time, I keep changing my mind and I, um, because I paint and, you know, this is my, my little, uh, quiet place, my nursery. It's like constantly in limbo of being a mess. So let me introduce you to the babies. Guys, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And make sure you leave me a comment below and let me know what you're thinking. And don't forget to click that bell to be a part of the notification squad. And also, last but not least, make sure that you are following me on Instagram. On Instagram, I am doing little mini clips of the Gabby show. And also, um, I take a lot of pictures. <laughs> All right. Right here is Fat Mama. Fat to Mama. And, um... Fat Mama is one of the very first babies that I ever painted. So she's been around for a while. She's imperfect. This is a work in progress baby. I started painting this baby and stopped midways, like right right away because I decided I wanted to finish the whole, whole kit. I didn't want to waste the kit, so I want to finish the whole kit and I'll be putting that baby up for sale once it's done. Um, I just I have not moved ahead. Um, and then there is baby Nima, which is sleeping my little silicone baby that I painted myself. And she is sleeping away. The little piglies. The little piglies. But yeah, this is um this is my little my little sweet little muff muff little muffin that I painted. And then we have Puck Santana. And he is also a silicone baby. He is one of my babies that I collected and absolutely adore my little Puck Santana. If you guys have not checked out the Puck series, uh, make sure you go into my playlist and check out Puck Santana series. Um, it was one of my, I think, most memorable and best um, as a piece of hair right here that long piece of hair it must be my hair <laughs> sorry um i think um puck the puck series was one of the most liked series that i've done of the babies so uh <clears throat> anyway check that out if you haven't here's paris mia moore and paris mia moore i'm gonna get down here so you guys can see a little bit more of paris mia moore paris mia moore is the matriarch of the nursery and i did do paris here you guys, I don't know if you guys can see, I put her some little pigtails in her head. Um, Paris Miramore, when I say she's the matriarch of the nursery, Paris Miramore has been with me for six years. Um, she is the oldest baby in my nursery. She is the only baby that had, have stayed with me throughout my entire time of collecting. And she is not going anywhere. And... Because she's such a special baby, I will give credit to the artist um, in this video. Um, her artist is Yogi, Yolanda Boy Glover. Um, she's a reborn artist. And um, her quality has remained the same. She has not faded, chipped, lost any paint, lost any hair. She's been changed and handled quite a bit up until you know, a couple years, I kind of put her away and then I pull her out. She's never packed in a box or anything like that, but maybe like sitting on top of the closet or something like that and on a little shelf or something like that. And um, to answer one of my viewers' question, um, Paris earrings, even though she was put away when I had did another baby and I needed to see what it looked like with earrings in and I wanted to put earrings in the ear, I went in and took the earrings out of Paris' ear because I knew that I could replace Paris' earrings at any time. And this other little baby, um, I haven't made a full video of her. This is a cuddle, cuddle baby. Um, 
And the body, I am actually going to also give another credit to the person, is Reggie's Dolls. Um, this is a cuddle body that was sent to me um, for a review. And if you look at my Facebook page, I left the live stream up where I show her. But her limbs are different than the normal cuddle bodies. So it's like she can pose a lot more like her little arms bend and it when she has on like sleepers and stuff like that it just looks really nice and the material i don't know if you guys can see but the material of the body is very nice so i really like this one i didn't like the other cuddle bodies as much because i felt like they wasn't really cuddly but this baby is actually cuddly so um guys if you're interested in a cuddle body she does them weighted and unweighted um unweighted is $35 and weighted is $65 or $64 it might be somewhere like that but anyway that is diamond diamond is one of my babies that was like a boo-boo baby and you'll find her body in the closet <laughs> but I used her head just temporarily and then I found that I kind of like it so uh I don't know so I don't know what the future may hold for her, but that's where she's at right now. And then um, this is a custom blanket that I had done for Noah. And um, so I really, really love that. Um, Julie's one, Reborn. And I love my Reborn babies, I believe is her mom's name. It's Julie's one's mom made this handmade this um blanket for me as a custom order and then um she also have her own youtube channel and she does rewards as well um and then we have baby jai which you guys just seen a video of her and i know that it's kind of dark in here but i don't have my lighting system up right now um, but anyway, that's baby Jai, and Jai is a real born. I don't know the name of the kit, but she is newborn size. And then we have Gabby's little baby here, and she named the baby Bella. If you guys are following me on Instagram, you'll see that she named that baby Bella. And this is baby Blessing, and you guys will see videos of baby Blessing as well. Um, and then over here, of course, um... So I have some of my, my tripod and my, my uh, light for when I do my filming. I have, it, I have it sitting over there. But as you guys know, this is Noah, Mr. Noah Noah Pooh. And um, so he is, of course, my little silicone baby, my little sweet to poo poo. Um, this is definitely the star of the nursery. He is my dream baby and um so he he doesn't the reason why he's here is right here because he doesn't stay in the nursery um he actually um sleeps in my room so that's him also guys um i think one of my viewers also asked about the brush that i'm using this is what the the um label look like um it is I don't know what that name is, but that's the name there. And that is, it is a 100% um, goat hair br bristles. And it came with this and a comb. The comb is actually in my room on my nightstand because, like I said, um, this was Noah's brush, but he doesn't hear. It mostly worked better with the fine for fine hair, but I I use it on all my babies um, but because I don't do a lot of brushing anyway. So... Anyway, so that's Noah Poo Poo. And this is Katie Lou. And Katie Lou is actually wearing gender neutral clothes right now. But I was trying to get her in the light. I should have turned on the light at least for here. But this is this is little Miss Katie Lou. So and then of course I haven't really changed much with my drawers. Uh it's kind of hard to do this one-handed. Oh my gosh. Alright, so I haven't really changed much with my drawers. I still have diapers. This is for easy access. These are, these, I love these. And I found them on eBay. 
they are the nook like hospital pacifiers but i clip these for my reborns now i'm starting to send those out with my reborn babies because i always use the one that was actually gabby's um real um pacifier when she was born i use hers as a guide for all my babies so all their magnets are set the same so i decided i wanted to be able to send one like that um so then i have some you know some little preemie diapers just some one-offs that kind of got out of the pack and i didn't want to just you know try to stick them back in some different prints the panda print you know loves i mean pampers and huggy brands and then i have my little baby powder wafers that i i love to use but i don't use that much of them because the scent is very strong and as you guys know i suffer with migraines so i use them very scarcely but i do like them and down here is a mess so that's why i say i never get finished with this but as you guys can see i have tons of diapers um i collect diapers more than anything and behind I don't know if you can see even behind the diapers is more diapers just so you know <laughs> i am definitely a hoarder <laughs> of diapers so anyway so i just thought i would show you guys just a little peek of that the bottles is kind of a mess these are headbands and hats <laughs> in here oh gosh i'm making a mess um i have several sizes of heart bottom shoes different old styles vintage these are actually were made in the year that my sister was born and um because i was supposedly having a baby made to resemble my sister years ago and that didn't work out but um i had was buying searching for all the vintage items that my mom used to dress her in um so anyway um for those that may not know my sister was 13 months old when she passed away and um so yeah so um mm. so i have a whole bunch of shoes in here and footies and slippers and sandals and all that it's like one big clutter of a mess there along with shoes here in boxes um baby deer sandals adidas stuff like that um again i'm spending a lot of time trying to get this stuff more organized this is clutter clutter um it's kind of hard because you know i basically live alone with my daughter and we are busy <laughs> we're busy a lot we're you know she has school this light is not working i mean doing giving us much light but i'll try my best um this is what i decided the guy was putting the the um i have another one of these as well and i have the shelf that goes it's another shelf that's supposed to go there but since it didn't i decided to fill the blankets up as high as i could <laughs> Since I don't have the other shelf built, um, I have a second shelf like this that's supposed to be built. I also have another shelf that's supposed to be built, but the guy had a family emergency, a um, friend of the family that does some little ids and odds for us, and he was putting it together for me. And so that's why my closet is kind of delayed because my shelving and stuff like that is not done. So I can't organize as much as I would like to. So I have lots of clutter, but this is filled to capacity of blankets. This is filled to capacity of blankets. I have another bin here of blankets and uh, baby towels. Um, then I have reborn in supplies in here like glass beads, um, uh, neck neckties, and um, the little things that you close the plugs up and you know clothes. And then there's clothes here, and then clothes here. And then like Noah has a special section back in the corner that's just his stuff. And then again, my treasure box, two cases of diapers, <laughs> the box that Noah came in, the box that Nima came in, and just like 
packing supplies. Um, then, like I said, this is the shelf where I took like a changing table pad and put it there. And that's kind of like where the babies, <laughs> some of my stowaways are. But this is the body to the baby that has this on the cuddle body. And then I found this body today. Um, it's a Gabigail body, but I don't know where the head is. So, <laughs> so that is <laughs> basically how it all works. So this is, let me turn the light off. And then I'm not gonna get into the side where I work because it's a clutter mess, but I am working on this little guy. <laughs> and so I have a table and I'll show you up high. Let's see, I'll show you up high. This is like my desk area back here. But yeah, so it's just basic, nothing fancy. Um, but this is just where I hang out. And that is Gabby the Giraffe. Um, Gabby named the Gabby, <laughs> Gabby named the giraffe Gabby. Um, one of my subscribers, thank you Marcella, for sending me this giraffe. I wanted this giraffe so bad and I know that it wasn't cheap. So, you know, it doesn't matter if it was, I still appreciate it, but even more so. But um, we have like dressed the Gabby up. Gabby has on her Black Lives Matters earrings. She has on her little, she has on Noah's hat. She, she she has um on her shades and she also have on her bib someone i love um needs a cure and it's sickle cell anemia awareness and of course that is the month we're in it's also pcos month of, of awareness which their color is green so i just learned that um a little while ago that, that that this is their month as well so I should be also doing a little bit of something on that as well but that is just that's it it's just basic I have my scale hidden under here and if you guys wondering what that is it's where I weight the babies um, basically that's it that's this is this is where it all happens I sit in the rocker and I record and you know, that's what I do. You know, it's nothing fancy, smancy, nothing major going on in here. I have some other pieces that I want to swap out and um, change out, but I haven't been able to do that just yet because, you know, everything is costly. Everything is over $100, and right now I'm not in the position to spend money on my hobby like that. So, but when I get a chance, I will. But that is is it um yeah one day maybe i'll do go over all the kits that i have the blank kits that i have that needs to be painted um if you guys are interested in seeing that i will show you all the kits that i have stored away <laughs> um and yeah so talk to you guys later thanks for watching bye bye now